you want to make this like one video? Hello, and welcome to the Yamaha booth here at the NAMM show. Um, this is our rep, Dave. He's going to be talking to us about some of the band instrument stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So this year we've got a new piccolo that we're looking at right here. It's an 87R. So it's got a smaller bore and thicker walls. So it's got a little bit more resonance and projection. It also comes with sterling silver keys and Straubinger pads and a, a wave cut head joint. And uh, according to Jen here, it plays uh, very nicely. Yeah, I just played it. And um, one of the things that I can always tell, I just told you this, uh, one of the things I can always tell that it makes a piccolo just super, like a, just a gorgeous piccolo sound is that if the low register comes out like super crystal clear, and then also if I can hit that, that high B flat, B natural, way up in the stratosphere without even having to play the last couple months, um, this is really nice. And the head joint totally makes a difference. Sure, yeah. Yeah, um, everybody seems to be really impressed with the head joint. It's a little bit unique for a piccolo to have a head joint that's cut like that. So uh, yeah, it's a great instrument so far. Uh, everybody seems really excited about it. So we're looking at our new Barry Sachs, this is the YBS 480. So this is actually replacing the YBS 52, which is a really famous baritone sax. It's used in all the schools. Uh, it's been around for 30 plus years. So we're finally doing an update to it. And uh, just because the number goes down to four instead of five is not a decrease in quality. It's gonna line up with our other saxophones in terms of the nomenclature, four series, six series, eight series. So a couple of uh, key revisions to this is the ergonomics have been changed to better suit a player with smaller fingers because a lot of times it'll be a younger player playing an instrument like this. The um, bell is a little bit shorter. The, um, the bottom actually has an area where you can insert a peg to keep the uh, bottom of it from hitting the floor. It's a threaded uh, nut area there. And then the um, the neck is actually modeled after our 62, uh, which is the higher end piece. So overall, we've made a bunch of improvements and it still is gonna be in the same uh, price range as the, the 52 was. So these are gonna be available this fall. Uh, for the current time being, we're still gonna be shipping the 52 and then it'll be kind of a rolling model change. So uh, we're really excited about this. Everybody who plays it really thinks that it feels a lot better. Uh, sounds good, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more comfortable to play. So uh, yeah, so far the response has been, been really good. So it sounds like this is a perfect classroom instrument for like a high school or even like a college. Yeah, absolutely. So the 52 typically, we call it intermediate. Um, it's used in middle school, high school, and in college. So this is going to be that same kind of uh, workhorse piece that you would want at your school. So I noticed as I was walking around a little bit earlier, there's these uh, two new Xeno ones right over there. Yeah, so we've updated our artist series trumpets. So the, the Xenos are all new here. There's a couple of, of key differences from the, uh, the previous models. Uh, it's just a generational upgrade, so it's not an all-new horn, just a lot of small tweaks that kind of enhance the playability. So the biggest thing is going to be the two-piece valve casings, uh, where before they were a single piece. It's got a composite water key now, and the water key is the same amongst the Artist Series trumpets. And then we've made some updates to the uh, bell, the profile of the bell. Um, and in the New York series, you can actually get the two different bell profiles. You can choose between the YS bell and the YM bell. Um, so overall, once again, it's just minor tweaks that kind of improve the playability. We like to try to stay current and keep the models updated. It goes along with our vertical integration where you'll see a lot of these kind of features then trickle down into our, our lower end models to improve those as well. Uh, so yeah, everybody who plays them seems to really enjoy them. And uh, yeah, we're uh, shipping these now actually. So they're, they're ready to go. So here we have a new set of chimes. Dave, tell us about these chimes. Yeah, so we've completely revamped our chimes. So these are all new models. Uh, there's essentially two kind of core models that we're looking at here. We've got the inch and a quarter tube version. Those are going to be geared towards a middle school application. And then we've got the inch and a half version over here. Uh, these are going to be your high school and professional level application. Um, you see we do the, uh, the, the brass alloy tubes. Uh, we've made a few tweaks in terms of playability. We've got larger caps here, so it's a bigger striking zone for the mallet. 
Uh, one of the really cool features is how they actually mount. And I need to get up here to yep. the pedal. So instead of like, you know, the old wire with the crimp around it, and they all kind of are a little bit wobbly or at different heights or whatever, you'll see they're all exactly the same because we have these small holes in the casting and this small nylon covered wire is actually how they mount. So they just drop right in. So if you need to travel with them, they're easy to take in and out. If you need to replace a, a, a wire or whatever, they're, they're very, very user friendly. And because of this design, we're able to actually bring the, the rear manual closer to the front. So it's actually easier to get to these. It's a smaller distance um, from the bottom to the top. So it's better for playability um, in that range. So they've got a, a, a locking damper mechanism. We also changed the damper mechanism from our previous model, which would damp dampen them basically sideways. This damper goes forward and backward because the tubes want to rotate that or uh, resonate this way. Okay, so this is going to actually stop them in the, the, the plane that they're already traveling in, if that makes sense. Um, this is also height adjustable because we actually have extended range tubes, so you can get lower pitch tubes or higher pitch tubes. And then with these blank spots here, you can actually just add those tubes into the frame. And then if you need a higher one because you've got a longer tube, you can actually just adjust these and raise them up. You can also use those to adjust if you're on an uneven surface because if it's uneven, the, the tubes are going to rub against the frame and it's going to stop the resonance, right? So this way you can make sure that they're balanced out, leveled out, whether that's, you know, an uneven surface like in a uh, concert hall, marching band, uh, whatever it may be, you can actually adjust for that. And then in addition to these frames, we've also got the, um, the smaller frame here. If you just have a few notes that you need um, to take out onto the, the practice field or, or whatever it may be. So we've also done oblong shaped holes to let them once again rotate or uh, re resonate, you know, in the plane that they want to they want to move in when you strike the, the tube. So uh, everybody seems really excited about these. I think the look is really good. It's somewhat modeled after like our pianos. If you've seen those with the gold on the inside and the red felt. Uh, so these are going to look great on a on a concert hall stage as well. And uh, yeah, they sound fantastic. Of course, with the loud environment here, we're not going to be able to kind of hear all that. Uh, but the resonance is really good. The intonation is really good as well. So yeah, we're excited. So this is definitely like a game changer for the classroom for like yeah. schools that have a really old set of chimes. Yeah. It's time for an update, and yeah. you know it's going to help yeah. maintenance a lot too. Definitely, yeah. They're going to be a lot easier to maintain, and uh, price point wise, we're going to be right in in the current range of most chimes on the market. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a great solution for a lot of schools. Fantastic. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Um, I think that about, that about covers it, right? Yeah. Awesome. About it. Thank you. Well, thank you and uh, happy NAMM show. Yep. Happy NAMM show. Bye.